All right, what's going on everybody? My name is Alan from 6FT Collective. Uh, we're super proud to announce that our first collection is now live on Mintable.app. Uh, you can check it out in the link in the description. We're super excited to show you guys what we've been working on for the past few months. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tapping in. So we just wanted to make a quick video to walk you guys through the process of actually buying your NFTs on Mintable.app. So from creating a MetaMask wallet, to loading Ethereum into your MetaMask wallet, all the way towards actually setting up a Mintable.app account and buying your NFTs. So sit back, relax. Thank you guys for tapping in. Uh, check out the links in the description to learn more about our first collection and to actually get a link to, to purchase our first NFTs once you've set everything up. And uh, hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, it's EZ from 6FT Collective here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install the MetaMask wallet as a Chrome extension. So the MetaMask wallet is essentially a crypto wallet that you can use to store and trade cryptocurrencies. You can also use it to buy and store your NFTs and you can display it to the public so everyone can see the cool new art you have, okay? So I'm just opening a new tab here and I'm gonna search up MetaMask wallet. And the first thing that comes up is MetaMask.io. This is the website where you can download it from. I'm just gonna press that right here. And here you can see, this gives you a general description of what the MetaMask wallet is for. As I said before, buying, storing, sending, and swapping tokens. And then you could also use different blockchain applications and it's really, really easy to download. So I'll just get to it. So here you guys can see, you can download it for iOS, Chrome, and Android. So if you guys wanna download it on your phones, that's perfectly fine. You could download it on Android as well. I think the easiest one for our purchases today is gonna to be Chrome, because it's just as simple as a Chrome extension, okay? So here we're going to press install MetaMask for Chrome and it takes us to the Chrome Web Store page. And this page has another description of what the MetaMask wallet is. It shows you whether or not it's compatible for your device and the new versions. So you can read through this if you guys want. Essentially just talks about what the purposes are and how you can use the MetaMask wallet. So I'm just going to press add to Chrome right now. Press add extension. It's just going to download the MetaMask wallet really fast and this should be done within a few seconds to a few minutes. And once it's done here, you guys can see it's going to open a new tab. And this tab is essentially going to get you started off for your MetaMask wallet. You see this little icon here. <laughs> and we're going to press get started, okay? So you'll only use this if you already have a MetaMask wallet and you're trying to import it. And I'm assuming most of you guys don't have that. So I'm just going to press let's get set up and create a wallet. So this is just for data collection. I'm just going to press no thanks here. And then all you have to do is set a password. Because uh, the account that's going to be used for the MetaMask wallet is really just your Chrome account. So here I'm using this tutorial account over here. Whatever you're signed in on as your Chrome account for that day is going to be your MetaMask wallet account as well. You just set your password. It could be something super simple. Right over here. Agree to the terms and conditions and create. So you guys can see it's just going to take you through a little tutorial explaining what the secret phrase is and how to actually get like a recover your metamask wallet if you ever like log out of chrome or using a different chrome account and that's right over here so the secret backup phrase is essentially a little like sentence that you guys can use to log into your metamask wallet from any other account i'm going to press it here to reveal it so here it's just something simple like this and then i'm going to press remind me later but i strongly recommend when you guys are doing this to save the secret wallet or the secret backup phase on a separate document, maybe on your phone or on your computer, just so you guys always have that if you ever need it. Now, that's all. We have our MetaMask wallet here. You see we haven't loaded on any Ethereum yet. We could do that pretty easily. And we're gonna be showing you guys how to do that in the next video. And if you guys ever just wanna open up your MetaMask wallet from a new tab, you just press on your Chrome extensions, you press on MetaMask, and here it's gonna open a little sidebar. All right, and this is your account. You have your account address over here. So if you want anyone to send you any digital assets like cryptocurrencies or NFTs, you can just copy that to the clipboard and you can see you just paste it anywhere. And then I'm gonna open that up again. If you guys wanna open it up in a full browser view, just press this, expand view, and here it is. So this is the same page I was on earlier. Thanks for watching guys. So in the last video, we showed you guys how to add the MetaMask wallet as a Chrome extension. It took under five minutes, very easy process. And with the MetaMask wallet, you can now hold cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and also buy digital assets like NFTs. So let's get right into it. Here, 
where we left off last video is downloading the MetaMask Wallet as a Chrome extension. I'm just going to open that up right now and press on the expanded view. And now that we see the whole screen, we can see that we don't have any Ethereum in our wallet. So if we want to buy anything, we can't do that. So it's as simple as just pressing buy right over here. It gives you two options. You can either buy Ethereum through the wire widget, which is a secure widget that lets you use your debit card to buy some Ethereum, or you could directly deposit it. If you already have another crypto wallet like Binance or ShakePay or any other crypto wallet, you just send it to your Ethereum address that you can find in a second. I'm just going to press continue to wire for right now. And we see the wire widget, which is essentially a currency exchanger. And this is the Ethereum address I just mentioned earlier. So if you guys want, you just have to go switch it to whatever currency you want to buy in. And I'm just going to put 70 Canadian. And as you guys can see, it shows you that that's 0 0.026 Ethereum. Now, you can pay with Apple Pay or card payments. Apple Pay isn't supported in Canada yet, so I would recommend sticking with the card payments. And as you guys can see, there is a little bit of a service fee. It's usually about 8% of what you're putting onto the wallet. So now I'm just going to authorize Wire to debit my account next now you guys can see just entering simple as entering your debit card information and pressing submit so now as you guys can see the bank is going to ask you some more security questions i'm just going to get them to text my phone just send me a verification code and boom now we have 77 Canadian on our MetaMask wallets. If you open MetaMask, you should be able to see it. It might take a few minutes to load. Let's just check. No, it's right over here. So yeah, that's 53 USD. It was as simple as that. Less than five minutes and we're already done. So in the last video, we showed you guys how to actually upload and load Ethereum onto your MetaMask wallet. And the one before that, we showed you how to add it as a Chrome extension. And both those processes were really quick. They both took under 10 minutes combined. So here we are, and I'm just going to open Mintable.app. And Mintable is one of the biggest NFT marketplaces right now. You can see there are a bunch of different collections dropping. And it's going to give you a lot of pop-ups. You can look through them and find a lot of the art that you find interesting. And once you're actually ready to buy something, you just press create an account. And it's as simple as typing in your username, putting in your email, and setting a password. All right, so you just accept, you just accept the privacy policy and you just press create an account. So I'm just gonna save that. And then once you make your account, you just have to send an authorization code to your email. You just have to open up your email. And it's really straightforward. We requested to do this. We got an authorization code right here, 234140. And then you just confirm the account. And now your account's been made. You just log in. Your information's already saved, and here we are. So now we actually have our own Mintable account. We can go and check our profile. If we ever want to list NFTs or anything like that, we can do it. And any NFT will be shown as my NFTs. So now we have to connect our wallet to our account, which is just a straightforward process. You go to MetaMask, you press connect to wallet. You got it right here, you press next. Connect. And just like that, your wallet's connected to your MetaMask and Mintable accounts. So now that we've made our Mintable profiles and that we've connected our MetaMask wallets, we can actually just start browsing through Mintable and looking for artists that we want to buy from. So this is essentially a really, really big art gallery and we have our pick of the litter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search up a topic I'm into, let's say rap. And then you look at some of the different NFTs that all come up within the algorithm. These ones are for 20 USD. So I'm just gonna press on this one right over here and you can actually look at the seller themselves. And by looking at the artist or the seller, you can find out what other type of NFTs they make. Maybe a little bit of information about them if you're looking for some. And you could check all their NFTs up for sale. So I'm just going to go ahead and press buy now on this Nas one because I think it looks sick with Nas's Hashirama from Naruto. And all you have to do is press proceed to pay. It'll make the purchase. It'll tell you to confirm it through your MetaMask wallet. I'm just going to press confirm. 
and congratulations it's been purchased so you can check your orders and it's right over here now whenever you're gonna see in your nfts list now it will take a little bit of load, time to load but it will be there so you've successfully just purchased an nft i hope you guys figured something out from these videos and if you have any more questions feel free to dm us